Philippe de Lachelot was the greatest portrait painter of his era. Um, he was a kind of celebrity that we simply don't have anymore. He was not just a painter, he painted everybody. He painted the current queen, he painted her mother, he painted her father, he painted the Kaiser, he painted the leading bankers and celebrity people and the leading aristocrats of the day. He was a remarkable, remarkable figure of the time. And although what I do in no way, shape or form is anywhere near as complicated or as important, um, I draw a tremendous amount of inspiration from him when I'm writing CVs. Um, why am I bothering to tell you this? Well, the reason is this. Writing CVs is hard. It's tremendously hard, or at least I find it tremendously hard. And I find it tremendously hard for a couple of reasons. And they're both responsibilities. The first is because I feel a tremendous responsibility to write something that the reader is going to like. And the reader is the employer. The reader is the HR department. The reader is the recruiter. It's probably all three. And at the same time, I have a second responsibility, which is to write something that my client is going to love. And to be perfectly honest with you, that isn't always the same document. There can be conflicts between the two. And I have to try and work out, frankly, um, how immodest um, the client is, is prepared to be. So why talk about Philip Delashlow? Well, the reason is this. Sometimes I sit there first thing in the morning. It's always easier to write first thing in the morning. And I think, how on earth am I going to do this one? I sit there with a bunch of notes from the briefing meeting and I sit there with whatever materials I found about the person I'm writing about, of course, thinking very hard about where they want to go. And I sit down and I try to make it work. And sometimes that's really hard. And that's where I start to think about Philippe Delachlo and what he did. What Delachlo did was not just to produce paintings of flesh and blood. These are not photographs. Um, they're telling a story. They're telling a narrative. He himself said that he was painting history. He wasn't just painting individuals. And he absolutely was. And he found things in people he could use and he presented them in the best way he possibly could for the viewer. His attention to detail was notorious. If, if a sitter wanted a dog in the, photog in the painting, he would interview the dog to see if the dog would fit. He had relationships with the finest tailors and couturier of his day and he would order clothes in advance for the sitter to wear when he was with them so that they would look exactly as he wanted um, them to look. So he would choose the, the clothes, he would choose the dogs, but of course he would also choose the light, he would choose the way that their eyes glanced, he would choose the look on their face, he would choose the way their hands were held, he would choose the way they stood. And all these details together, everything added up, magnified and became far more than the sum of his parts. And, you know, I think, and a lot of people think, he made people look, frankly, about as good as anyone has ever made anyone look. And um, that was his achievement and that is his legacy. So the next time you're sitting down to write your CV, that's your task. You have to do the same thing. You have to think about your readership. You have to think about the message. You have to think about the narrative. You have to think about them. And then you have to think about yourself and what you have, what details there are within you. And then you have to think about how you dress them up in the finest clothes and how you hold the finest dogs and how you position yourself in a way that they're going to absolutely love, uh, which is going to make the finest impact on them. It's not easy, but it can be done. So what I'd suggest you do is you turn the audio off, go back to the start of this video, and this time just look at the photographs. Just look at the photographs of these paintings and just see what he does and how he does it. And the next time you sit down to do a CV, do the same thing. Take care.